Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is January 23rd, 2019. And today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the major economic events of the day, just one event really came out this morning at 5 a.m. South African time out of Japan, monetary policy statement. Now we saw a little bit of a move there in the Japanese yen, but let's take a look at what could possibly happen today. Japanese yen, possible fade opportunity for that trade earlier this morning, GBP stronger versus the USD. Whereas the euro is weaker, so a little bit of a mixed bag against the USD there. Now looking at the indices, Dow Jones retraces nicely following oil's retracement. We'll take a look at that quite sharply. Now looking at the commodities, gold gains back above 1282-ish level, trading at 1284. And as I mentioned, oil retraces. Now lastly, looking at the stocks, Amazon and op Apple trade lower, and Tesla breaks that $300 um, per stock price. So that's an important number to look at. Well, let's see what we can expect from today's trading. This conference will now be recorded. So we had this massive rise versus the dollar here. Uh, dollar getting stronger versus the Japanese yen. Okay, going from 109.36 to 109.74. Not a big move, but enough to you know shake the markets a little bit. Now we're at this um, resistance level 10974 ish level We're just trading about 10 pips below that now that might be a, a decent fade opportunity if this does decide to break down on the downside after this nice little spike okay usually following these type of spikes following these type of news events there's a correctional move that happens right afterwards so let's see if we do get that in the Japanese hand now you want to may maybe build the a position not go in you know full throttle and just see if it does start working towards your favor now looking at the GBP USD, we see that it's gating versus the dollar here at 129.56 ish level. Okay, if we look at that, you know, in a longer time frame, 129.94 is your resistance, or about 40 pips away from that. So if we don't break above that, we could definitely see this maybe correct itself. Now this is a bona fide upwards trend that we've already been setting up for quite some time since we hit a low of 124.64. Now jumping to the euro you wouldn't see that getting stronger right you wouldn't see the dollar dollar getting a little bit stronger here versus the euro 11368 ish level as it corrects itself down on the downside now you know if we falter around this level 11329 we tested that yesterday but if we do falter that we could see a breakout on the downside and see the dollar actually get stronger now jumping into the commodities oil uh, uh, gold excuse me 1283 we see that you know as it's solidifying about above that level you know kind of consolidated at this 1277 now Gold has really rallied since the beginning of the year quite nicely from 1212 ish level up to this 1300 ish level and then retracing. So, this retracement, I would have expected a further pullback. Maybe we'll still get that if the Dow Jones continues to rally. Now, we're all waiting and anticipating that the shutdown um, in the US government will come to an end. And I believe that the markets will rally after that happens. Okay. We may see ourselves you know, selling off afterwards, but I think that we will see that as the market corrects itself on the upside. Now, looking at oil, we hit this snag yesterday. Okay at $54 a barrel. We mentioned that and we're just trading below it. It doesn't mean that we're breaking down necessarily and we're going to go back down to the $50 range. However, we hit a snag here. Okay, so with that said, just be aware that if it does falter this 54 level, we can see it go back to $50 a barrel. However, that has yet to be seen. So I just want to be very tentative about it as you're trading there. Now looking at the Dow Jones, we were traced nicely over the past couple of days from 24,758 as we you know closed the market last week down to 20. 2443. Now that's a 300 point move. Not bad for a few days of trading. However, I do believe that we'll get that spike. Excuse me. Once we get that shutdown, actually come to a a close. And it looks like you know with what's going on and some of the politics being thrown around, it looks like we will actually get that. Now looking at Apple, you can see that we've sold off here. Okay, quite quite significantly since last week from 156 down to 152 and and the same stories with Amazon a little bit of a nosedive there from 1690 ish level to 1626 so you know with that said the stocks are weak okay and and they look like they want to break further down so so you can't fight the trend, but you don't want to chase it. Uh, but however, you know, maybe that next bounce may be an opportunity to actually short it. Now, looking at Tesla, lastly, 
you traded further down yesterday from 303-ish level down to 297. That's a small move for Tesla, uh, especially since it's corrected itself from 347. Now, if it does sustain this, if it does hold this line, we could see a bounce, okay? However, that might have already taken into account some of the news that's already coming out about it. So, you know, this is something to really keep a sharp eye on and to see how this will unfold. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.